My name is uh, Nate Sosi. I'm from uh, the Navajo Nation, Northern Arizona. I'm from a small community in, uh, in uh, it's called Page, Lachi, Arizona. Um, Full-blooded native, straight off the reservation. You know, I, I come from a really uh, artistic family, um, both my mom and my dad's side. We have professional photographers, painters, uh, rug weavers, basket makers, silversmiths, um, professional artists, uh, artists who have their own magazines out, their own publications out, um, artists who are featured in national, international magazines. That's, that's some, of the, uh, some of the pedigree that I come from. We come from a very artistic, uh, background. When, when my grandmother was very young, I'm maybe nine or ten years old, her, her mom had passed away, but before her mom passed away, she taught my grandmother how to weave a rug, and it, it, it's really neat. It's uh, one pattern on one side, whatever color you want to make it, and another pattern on the other side, another color again, and, and they weave from the, from the bottom to the top, and it's one of the hardest ways to weave a rug. And so when my grandmother's mother died, my grandmother picked up that, 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 that knowledge and she began to provide for her family as an as a adolescent, weaving rugs. And that's, you know, that's, we, we give a lot of credit for uh, um, you know, everybody's individual journeys and flights getting here. And that's, that's the legacy that my grandma gave to us, to provide for your family with what you've given, with the, with the talent you've been given, and to nurture it and to, and to allow it to, to provide for you ultimately, uh, you know, give, give all the glory to God. For me, for my success, is being able to do what I love to do. I love to do art, um, I love to create it. But to be able to provide a living for your family, for your kids, to, to be an inspiration for, for youth, and in my case, Native youth, um, you know, to continue to, to be uh, in demand and, and people request you to, to travel, to, to be part of an event. Um, to me, that's, that's being successful as an artist. Because, again, it's a creative, a very uh, competitive uh, field. Um, something that not a whole lot of people, the fact that I'm able to do it, make a living, and, and it's something I love to do. You know, you, you still have those sacrifices here and there, but I, I, I get to do that and, and I get paid to do it. And my, my family ultimately is the ones who, who benefit from that. I, I get up uh, five or six o'clock Friday morning and I drive four hours to um, Las Vegas and I'm here by 10 o'clock, ready, ready to paint. <laughs> it takes a little, uh, still, you know, even after getting off the road, it still takes a little waking up at 10 in the morning, to try to be creative and stuff. And you know, we, we do, I do a 12 hour shift. And uh, Sunday night after work, I go home. I drive another four hour, I work 12 hours, get on the road and I'm usually home four, five, six, seven in the morning sometimes. Uh, usually early enough to take my kids to school. Um, it's, it's that time from Friday morning to Sunday night where I, I really get to focus on what I love to do and, and I've been doing this for three years now. Um, if, I mean that again just goes to show that I love Airbrush Las Vegas. I love what I do out here. I love the team out here. It's, it's, it's definitely a, a team effort um, and you know had, had a, it not been so positive and so encouraging I probably would have stopped a long time ago. Um, it, but it's always been encouraging to come out. It's always been a positive experience. Um, a lot of people think I come out and we mess around and party in Vegas and clubs and strip clubs and all these different things that people think I do out here is not a nothing, <laughs> nothing. Um, I, I come out here to work, eat and sleep. <laughs> That's it. That's all I have time to do. Um, Everest Las Vegas has definitely been a huge factor into me becoming successful as an airbrush artist. Uh, the things that I've learned from the, um, the, the different artists I work with, with Jonathan, with Enoch, with uh, now Daniel and, and Jimoka and Hector and you know, all these different ideas coming together in Las Vegas added 
the people who come in and ask for these really weird requests, odd requests, a lot of times we don't want to do them, but we do them. And it pushes us and it allows us to really experiment to, to, to uh, you know, our, our reputation really kind of at hand there. And, and, and we, we, we were able to fill those requests, no matter how odd they may seem. You know, I've always told people, it's, it feels like we take a bad idea and we make it look good. Um, and that's kind of what it feels like to be an airbrush artist sometimes. But we make it happen and, we're, and we brag about it and, and we're, we're proud of our work. We put it out on social media and we let people know we're, we're here. We're, this, is, uh, this is who we are, Airbrush Las Vegas. We're, we're, we're gonna experiment. We're gonna, we're gonna throw colors in there that probably shouldn't go together. We're gonna throw patterns and, and, and paint splashes and flares and we're gonna we're gonna trick out your 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 designs your your art and we're gonna send you home looking looking cool um that's that's what we do and that's we're not we're not afraid to to experiment we're not afraid to really swerve outside those lines and try something different this is this is las vegas and we're we're uh, very innovative we're we're creative we're 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 willing to push in in in, in a way that that i've never seen it pushed anywhere and i'm just glad to be part of that